I would like you to meet BB. BB missed her last appointment. She only comes every eight weeks as it is, but she had an injury to her foot. She has fully recovered, but as you can see, she has a lot of coat. Right, baby girl? This is a uh, just a bit matted. It's not terrible, I think I can get through it, so I'm gonna share that with you guys today. She is a cockapoo. Definitely seems a lot poodle, as you can see. Thing is, here today, it's a very cold outside. Yes, the sun is out, but it is definitely winter, and it is about 20 degrees outside. There's still frost on the ground. So knowing how cold it is outside, I do not want to take BB down with a seven blade, which is actually what would be most comfortable for her and not to have me brush all this out. This is not what she enjoys. Um, she is about 11 years old, so she's a little touchy. I'm gonna do my best to try to brush through this a little before the bath. Otherwise, I'm going to mat it up even worse if I don't brush a lot of this out before the bath. I'm trying to leave length. I'm going to definitely be using a snap-on comb to set the length. And in order for a snap-on comb to go through a dog's coat, we have to be able to get a comb through the dog's coat. Okay, not happening. This is the struggles of dog grooming. We want to do what's best for BB, but the owner couldn't see fit to brush this dog. and three months. That's very unfortunate. Now the groomer's saying, I, I don't want to take her short, it's winter. But technically this is going to be a lot of work for her and a lot of work for me. Well guys, after assessing BB, I can clearly see I am never going to get a snap-on comb through this, no matter how much time I spend on her and I can't expect her to endure a 10-hour groom. So we are gonna try a four blade. This is about as long as I'm assuming I might be able to go with BB. I'm gonna attempt to pre-trim her a little bit so that she doesn't have so much coat to deal with in the bathing and drying process. This will be easier for BB if we can take it off. But as you can see, guys, if you have noticed you have trouble getting through your dog's coat, it is because your dog's coat is dirty and possibly matted, not brushed out enough. I'm having trouble. Now, since this is a pre-clip, I am just gonna focus on taking off as much length as I can pre-bath. This is as long as I'll be able to leave her coat today if I'm lucky enough to leave it with a four blade. It's going through in some areas, but as you can see in others like this, it's not going through. Because this has to go through the coat in order to leave that much length to get to the blade. This is what a lot of people don't understand. They think there's something wrong with their blade or something wrong with their clipper. No, it's the fact that your dog's coat is in this condition. If they are brushed and bathed regularly between grooms, haircuts, you will not have this issue. So the problem with BB's coat here today is she has not been brushed and three to four months, I forget how long it's, it's been at least three months since I have last seen BB. That's our problem today, guys. So in a minute, we're gonna have her in the tub and we're gonna do our best to loosen up any dander and buildup that may still be in the coat so that we will be able to give her a nice, beautiful trim and leave a little bit of length on her at least because it is so cold. But as you can see, I'm struggling. Now this is pre-bath, the clipper's not wanting to go through. You can see that. And that is because the coat is dirty and not brushed out. There's a lot of dead hair in the coat right now. All right, guys, this is as good as it's gonna get before we can get her in the tub. I basically just took as much off of her body as I could, a little bit off this leg, but everything else is matted. I need to work her skin and coat in the tub. This is one big mat. The nicest thing I could do for BB right now is probably get rid of this. We have to make decisions sometimes on process and she's stressing out already. I'm using my Kenchi Flash 4-in-1 Clipper. I have it set to actually a nine. I'm gonna hold the hair away from her eyes and we're gonna come gently towards her muzzle. And I'm just gonna take this off. As you can see, when dogs are so severely matted, especially around the face, this is a very sensitive area for them. Sometimes the most humane thing to do is to shave those mats off, go with a clean face, and start over. You know, it'll grow back. I love seeing BB with a little bit of a full round head. She looks gorgeous. But guys, you can't take your dog to a groomer in this condition and expect magic to happen. We have to do what is comfortable for the dog, safe. Today, that is 
to shave the mats off of BB's face. I know, baby. So I'm really trying to loosen up any dirt, grime, dander, build up in BB's coat. So I'm going to pre-rinse her. Typically I don't have to pre-rinse a dog with my Prima bathing system, but I'm choosing to just to try a little, a little harder to remove so much build up in her coat. I am using Seuss shampoo and conditioner today on BB. Now we are going to condition her. That is definitely going to help us to brush BB out after the bath. This is pre-mixed. It dilutes 10 to 1. This is the Seuss conditioner that I'm using. There are a couple different types of Seuss conditioners and shampoos. This is the ultra cream conditioner. And I definitely want to focus a lot on those areas that were matted. Good job, baby. And it smells like roses. It smells like roses. Yes, it's very nice. And we're gonna massage this through her coat, especially in those matted areas. It's really gonna add some elasticity to her coat so we can hopefully get those mats out of there easily and, and not, not hurt BB. If it's gonna hurt her, I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna shave it with a seven if it's gonna hurt her. Because I don't ever do anything that's inhumane when I'm grooming dogs, regardless of what the client would like. If they let the dog get in this condition, then they're gonna have to trust that I'm the professional and I'm going to find out how to get BB in the best shape possible with what I have to work with, considering the condition of her coat. And most so all my clients don't have any issue trusting my judgment. I like to allow the conditioner to sit on for, you know, about four or five minutes. It really softens up. It also balances out the skin and coat. It's very important. She could really use that this time of year too. With it being cold and winter and the heat's on in the house, she could use as much moisture back in her skin and coat as possible right now. And then always over rinse all products off your dog. Good baby. Until the water runs clear. A baby toweled off and out of the tub. I have cleaned her ears and trimmed her nails already. If you're not sure how to do that, I have plenty of videos on my channel that show you both of those procedures and methods and I will link them in the description of this video so you can go check it out. But this is one of the most important things we could be doing right now since we are dealing with a matted coat. We are, while her coat is damp, I have toweled it off, gently brushing through those matted areas and it will demat much easier since the coat is clean, brushed, and conditioned. And as you can hear, BB is just not, she does not enjoy brushing especially. I'm being very gentle with her. She's just choosing to fuss about it. But this is going to allow us to actually get our four blade through BB's coat and leave the slightest amount of length on her, which is what our goal was, remember? She actually looks really good. This is all coming out very nicely. Let me bring you guys in for a close-up view. guys BB is all set as you can see we can get a comb through her now how about that we did good this was not easy if I didn't have the grooming knowledge that I do we, we would not have been able to do this but we are going to be able to get this four blade through BB now to give her a nice final trim so I'm gonna trim the body and the legs and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this pretty head base of the skull base of the neck under the jaw and just come all the way around BB with the number four blade. And we are definitely 
having success. Now for this leg, we're gonna come on down. If you're not able to get through your dog, that means you didn't prepare the coat well enough. It's okay, baby. Good job. Meaning brushing, bathing, and brushing them while they're wet to easily get through the coat. And we are easily getting through this with a four blade now. And BB is a difficult dog to groom. She resists pretty much every part of the groom. She has always been this way. She's a little worse as she's aged, so I'm just assuming that she's touchy, and I can respect that, you know. I'm being very gentle with her, and we're getting through it. So, obviously, we're able to get through this very nicely with our four blade. Coming on down the back. She barely even has a tail. Look at her little tail, it's tiny. We're gonna clean this area up with a number 10 blade because we only use the number 10 in the sanitary areas when we trim dogs. It's the safest blade, it will not irritate, and you're much less likely to even nick or anything your dog because the 10 blade is a, is a close clip. However, you wouldn't wanna use a 30 blade in those sanitary areas because that can actually cause major clipper burn, clipper irritation to your dog. That is a sensitive area, remember that. The skin is sensitive. Good job, girlfriend. Yeah, she's doing really good. And you'll notice me often throughout the grooming process picking up one of the opposite legs, because that encourages the dogs to not pick up the leg that I'm trying to work with. I do use a clipper vac system made by Hanvi called the hair vac system. And I will uh, link that information in the description below because I know a lot of people are always interested in understanding what I'm using and just know that all the products that professional groomers use, you can buy too. They're all available to all of us, the exact same products. Good job, B. I'm gonna shave in the pads of the feet with my Kenchi Flash four-in-one clipper. And we are trying to remove all the hair inside the pads of the feet. In this main pad, we always shave gently in a V shape. If we don't remove this hair in here, guys, it can become matted and tangled and it would feel like your dog is standing on a rock. So it's very important to clean those pads out gently. There's a tendon right here, so always come at this in a V shape like that and it's much safer, you won't nick it. Now we're ready to trim the head on BB. First thing I'm gonna do, I've already shaved inside of the ear nicely with a number 10. I'm going to just use the tip of my shear and gently just outline the dog's ear. You can see that I have her ear leather between my finger and my thumb so I know exactly where that ear leather is. I did shave the outside of BB's ear with a number seven blade. Now I'm using a chunker shear, and I am just shaping in that top knot. We already set the length with our e-snap on comb, so now we're just, I'm scissoring with a thinning shear. Guy, I do this all the time. It's a blending shear, actually. You can use your straight to set this line. Basically, it's from corner of the eye to the base of the ear, straight across the dog with your shears straight, not tilted back. Always use your comb, comb forward. Beautiful baby. Oh, she says, I don't like it. I don't like it. Right around the corner of that eye, straight back to the base of the ear, just like on the other side. And now I'm gonna use my chunker shear and tidy all this up and finish setting in the shape on BB's head. These take off a lot of hair, but they also blend it nicely. So if your work is not perfect, 
this can hide a lot of flaws. It also helps just to give you a nice finished look. It really looks nice. I like to roll the ear over my finger and anything that pops out, I am just kind of scissoring off to blend in that hair on top of her ear. Now the only thing left to do is to just tidy up anything that was missed by our clipper work and also tidy up around the, the foot. As you can see, the foot's a little messy, so I'm gonna brush everything out. I'm gonna come around the foot like this. Anything that she'd be standing on, be careful. Do not go this way over this pad. You could cut it, so you have to come around it just to be safe. And we're just outlining her foot to match the length of the blade that we used on her leg and her body. And then you can pick up that foot, brush the hair on top of it up, and just dome over the top of the foot, just like this. And just shape it into the rest of the leg. Always use your comb, guys. Always use your comb to comb and pull out that hair that's gonna need to be scissored off. It tells you what needs to be scissored. And BB's done, guys. There she is. Hi, B. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell because together we are going to increase the bond you share with your pet and add even more value to their life.